Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to the practice test questions and answers for the radiography or x-ray registry review exam. This is the anatomy part two. I already have a part one out. I will attach it to the end. Also, a lot of people gave the last one a thumbs up and wanted me to make a new video. So if you all like this video and want me to just keep making new videos like this, Please give the video a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and please like, share, and subscribe. All right, so you can use this review for any national board if you are an international student. Um, for ART, any x-ray review you can use this for. But since I do have my license through ART, then I am just following what is on their exam. So since we are looking at procedures, if you go down to the bottom, it would be 66 questions for procedures. So we'll just keep looking at this and let me know if you want more videos like this. All right, so if you are new to my videos, I like to ask the question, read the answer choices, and then I'll give you time to think about the answer. So um, comment your score below if you was um, able to find information easily, if you was able to answer the question just fine if you think you'll need more help in other sessions so just let me know how you did on this practice test question and answer all right so for question one inflammation of the gallbladder is called a cholangiogram b cholecystitis c cholecystectomy d cholelithiasis All right, the correct answer is B, cholecystitis. So anytime you see cystitis or itis at all, anytime you see itis, then you know it's like inflammation or something. Cholet, think of gallbladder when you see that. Question two, the medical term for gallstones are A, cholangiogram, B, cholecystitis, C. Cholecystectomy. D. Cholelithesis. All right. The correct answer is D. Cholelithesis. And if I'm saying it wrong, you all get what the answer is. Question three. How many degrees should the tube be angled for an anterior posterior view of the foot? Is it A, 5 degrees, B, 10 degrees, C, 15 degrees, or D, 20 degrees? All right, the correct answer is b 10 degrees you want to make sure that you angle your tube 10 degrees towards the heel and make sure that you enter at the base of the third metatarsal question four how many degrees should the patient's leg be rotated for a medial oblique foot a 15 degrees b 20 degrees c 30 degrees or d 40 degrees Right, the correct answer is C, 30 degrees. The patient's leg should be rotated medially at an angle of 30 degrees towards the image receptor. Question five, the central ray exit point for a PA skull position is A, frontal sinuses, B, glabella, C, nasion, or D, zygomatic process. Right, the correct answer is C, nasion. All right, so if you are finding this video helpful, 
Please like, share, and subscribe for more videos. Question six. The coronal process is found in the A, foot, B, radius, C, shoulder, D, ulna. Right, the correct answer is D, ulna. So make sure you know the difference between coronoid process and coracoid because the coracoid is found in the shoulder. Coronoid process is found in the ulna. Question seven, which position slash view is shown in this image? A, PA skull. B, Caldwell position, C, Waters position, or D, Town position. All right, the correct answer is C, Waters position. This position is also called the Parato Acanthio view also known as the Waters Method, so just make sure you know both words for this position. Question eight, which sinuses are the Waters view great at visualizing? A, frontal sinuses, B, ethmoid sinuses, C, maxillary sinuses, or D, sphenoid sinuses? Right, the correct answer is C, maxillary sinuses. And you see that the red arrow is pointing at the maxillary sinuses. You can see them well on this view. Question nine, which sinuses are the Caldwell view great at visualizing? A, frontal sinuses. B, maxillary sinuses. C, occipital sinuses. D, sphenoid sinuses. All right, the correct answer is A, frontal sinuses. The Caldwell view is great at visualizing the frontal sinuses and ethmoid sinuses. There is no occipital sinuses. Question 10, how many degrees should the two be angled for the Caldwell method? A, 10 degrees caudate. B, 10 degrees cephalic. C, 15 degrees caudate. Or D, 15 degrees cephalic. All right, the correct answer is C, 15 degrees caught it. All right, so could you please leave me a comment? Let me know which area of the test you think you may need the most help with. Is it patient care? Is it physics? Is it anatomy? So let me know in the comment box so that I can try to make more videos, you know, just cater to which area you would need the most help on. Question 11. Which anatomy structure is the arrow pointing to? I'll give you a few seconds to think about the answer. All right, the answer is the red arrow is pointing to the sinus torsi. Question 12, which anatomy structure is the arrow pointing to? A, cuboid, B, lateral cuneiform, C, navicular, or D, talus? All right, the correct answer is A, cuboid. So before I go to the next question, I just thought about something. Do you all think or would you all like for me to add like a practice test question and answer video for fluoroscopy? 
you know, like the positioning, um, time frame on patient being NPO, um, the what they have to drink. So just let me know and I'll think about if I should make a video for practice test questions on fluoro. Question 13, which anatomy structure is the arrow pointing to? A, cuboid, B, lateral cuneiform, C, navicular, or D, talus? All right, the correct answer is C, navicular. Question 14, which anatomy structure is the arrow pointing to? A, cuboid, B, lateral cuneiform, C, navicular, D, talus. All right, the correct answer is C, navicular. Question 15, the central ray for a lateral chest x-ray is at A, T5, B, T6, C, T7, D, T8. All right, the correct answer is C, T7. Question 16, chronic inflammation of the bowel disease is called A, appendicitis, B, cholecystitis, C, Crohn's disease, D, diverticulitis. Right, the correct answer is C, Crohn's disease. Question 17, which anatomy structure is the arrow pointing to? A, femoral head, B, femoral neck, C, greater trochanter, D, lesser trochanter. All right, uh, the correct answer is C, greater trochanter. Question 18, which anatomy structure is the arrow pointing to? A, femoral head, B, femoral neck, C, greater trochanter, D, lesser trochanter. All right, the correct answer is B, femoral neck. Question 19, which anatomy structure is the arrow pointing to? A, femoral head, B, femoral neck, C, greater trochanter, D, lesser trochanter. Okay, the correct answer is A, femoral head. Question 20, the longest and strongest bone in the human body is called A, femur, B, forearm, C, humerus, D, tibia. All right, the correct answer is A, femur. Question 21, the smallest intestine includes all of the following except A, cecum, B, duodenum, C, ileum, D, jejunum.
All right, the correct answer is A, cecum. The cecum is actually part of the large intestine. Question 22, the largest gland in the body is the A, liver, B, pancreas, C, spleen, D, stomach. All right, the correct answer is A, liver. Question 23, which gland plays an important role in detoxifying waste? A, liver, B, pancreas, C, spleen, D, stomach. All right, the correct answer is A, liver. Question 24, which gland stores glycogen? A, liver, B, pancreas, C, spleen, D, stomach. All right, the correct answer is A, liver. Question 25. Which anatomy structure is the arrow pointing to? A, capitate, B, lunate, C, hamate, or D, scaphoid? All right, the correct answer is B, lunate. All right, so that's it for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. If you made it this far, I'm sorry. I forgot to tell you at the beginning of the video, if I'm going too fast, just pause it or rewind it. But I thought about that at the end. But if you all want more questions and answers, just leave me a comment. Let me know. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Also, let me know in the comment box if you would like for me to make that floral practice test questions and answers video. So, all right. Thank you all again. I look forward to your comments. Bye.